Well, I thought I'd take you along today on making some creamy chicken soup, uh, farmhouse style. I have a plate of four chicken thighs. Uh, they're bone-in skin on. There was a sale on them at the local store, so that's what we're working with today. You could use chicken breast as well, uh, chicken quarters, chicken legs, whatever, rotisserie chicken, whatever you think you wanna use. But I'm gonna get this chicken going in my Instant Pot. And then we'll work on some of the other components of it. I'm gonna put some salt, just sprinkle it liberally on there on top of the breast. Some onion powder. Granulated garlic. Garlic powder would work just the same. I'm gonna put a little bit of ground sage. I like the flavor that ground sage gives chicken and this is going to be a real comforting farm type of a dish. And so the sage will play real nice with this chicken. So I'm gonna just shake some of that in. I'm gonna pour in, I've got two cups of water. I'm gonna see what that looks like in here with it. Make a nice broth. I think that's a decent amount of water. I have three tablespoons of butter that I'm gonna set on top of the breast and put it in there. Cause why not? Butter makes everything better. Put on my lid, set it to seal, to manual, and I'm gonna cook this for 20 minutes. And that's it, set for 20 minutes on manual. While that is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna chop up the vegetables and get going on the soup. Today, I have an onion that I used in a recipe the other day. It's a little more than half the onion, just a plain yellow onion. So I'm going to use that up in this recipe and then dice it up. I'm um, also, I have these peppers from uh, pickled eggs we made earlier. I'll be putting those in a little bit later. I have some carrots and a couple potatoes. I also have an ingredient, it's a little different ingredient that I'm gonna add in today. Um, I'll show you that a little later. That's not a fresh vegetable, but we'll help add a nice creamy component to it. Okay, so I have three carrots here. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse these and then we'll chop them up. Then I'm gonna put some butter in this uh, Dutch oven behind me and we're gonna saute the onion and the carrot for a little bit. And if you didn't want to use potatoes as your starch, you could use rice, you could use noodles, you can use gnocchi. Um, just pick whatever you like. We happen to like potatoes here. I'm gonna go with three tablespoons of butter as well in my pot behind me and get that warming up because we're just about done with the carrots. on medium low heat to kind of get this going for a bit while I finish chopping these up. You can hear that chicken coming up to pressure. Oh, you can smell it. It smells really good. I'm going to make this soup a cream base. It's how we prefer to eat it. It's how we're going to do it. So that's this is about what I'm going with for my vegetables. I'm going to go ahead and add it on in to the pot. Let it saute and soften while that chicken's cooking. And let those simmer. I'm going to go with two potatoes today. Maybe three because they're not super big potatoes. Vegetables are starting to kind of simmer in that butter. Onions and carrots are simmering away. And this is my Dutch oven. It is well loved, well used. And I don't know how everybody else keeps their Dutch ovens white and pristine. We've tried all the tricks. It doesn't seem to work for us. We just use it and love it. So that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. While we let that continue to do its thing, we're gonna go ahead and chop up the rest of our peppers. We'll add these later because they won't take as long to get soft. Just in a bowl, we'll save this till later till we're ready. 
going to wait for this to soften a bit. And making the broth of this, I will be using some of our, um, this is our homemade uh, chicken bone broth that we make. The thing I'm going to add for my creamer, and I'm going to get it ready. I'm going to do, so this is a quart, so about four cups of chicken broth. I'm going to do two cups of milk. I'm going to add in a couple of uh, tablespoons, a couple of cloves of garlic in here. We're just going to let that brown, get down a little bit for just a few minutes. To the vegetables here, the onion, the garlic, and the carrot, I'm going to add a quarter cup of flour. We're just going to sprinkle it over the top like that. And let that break down a little bit in the vegetables and the uh, three tablespoons of uh, butter that we have in here. Open up our chicken stock and get it ready to go in. Shake it up a little bit. That one very well sealed lid. So we're gonna go ahead and add this in. I'm gonna add about half in and stir. Okay, so I've got about two cups of that creamy, yummy goat's milk that'll go in with the broth. Um, probably we'll add a little bit of chicken bouillon just to enhance that chicken flavor as we get a little farther in the recipe. Um, but this will be our base for our, our um, soup right there. I'm going to go ahead and peel our potatoes and get them diced up. The thing about the farmhouse recipes is it really is what you have, what you're producing on your farm, what you like to eat, what you have in your fridge, what you have fresh what you can cook with and make a home cooked meal. Okay, I had three small potatoes, probably about two medium potatoes would be good. We're gonna go ahead and add this into the pot now. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add in, oh, about probably two teaspoons of uh, chicken bouillon to start. This can all be adjusted for taste. We like better than bouillon, but you can use whatever kind of bouillon, chicken bouillon you have on hand or that you like to use. So this has been simmering for about, oh, 10 minutes or so. I'm gonna add a couple of the last ingredients. I'm gonna add our peppers in now to the pot. I have one kind of cheat ingredient. I'm gonna add a can of cream style corn. And the instant pot has been um, coming out for pressure on its own naturally for about 10 minutes. We're going to finish that up with a manual release, get the chicken out, and get it ready to go in the pot. The rest of it. I'm going to go ahead and add in. Or milk, the two cups of that. This has the potatoes and the uh, carrots, the onions, uh, the broth, the bouillon, the milk. I'm gonna add in a little bit of thyme so it will play nice with the rest of the, just a little bit of thyme. Gonna add in a little bit of black pepper. Okay. Give that a stir. Let that come up and just simmer and thicken up. When our chicken's done, we have about five minutes left on the chicken. We'll pull it off the bone and dice it up and add it in. So we've done 10 minutes of a natural release. Now we're going to finish it up with a manual release until all the pressure comes down. Now that the pressure has been released, we're going to take the lid off and get the chicken out, um, let it start to begin to cool, and we'll get it shredded and in the pot with everything else. That's what it looks like now. It made a ton of yummy broth. We're going to put this in with the soup as well. 
give it a rich flavor. I used a gravy separator to separate the fat from the broth and then I added the broth into our soup. So I have a couple of cups of uh, chicken that I got um, off of those chicken thighs. I'm just gonna add that in and let it simmer for about 20 more minutes altogether, and then we'll be having supper.